Let us look at another example of developing a workforce schedule in a service industry. The telephone reservation department of a major airline company has the following daily requirement of operators. So basically there is an airline company which has an online reservation department. This department has telephone operators who take the calls from the customers and help them with their bookings. So they have managed to determine what their demand would be for each of the days in a week. So for Monday, they have determined that they would need eight operators for Tuesday, eight operators for Wednesday, seven, Thursday, seven, Friday, six, Saturday, five and Sunday, four. Now, based on this requirement, we have to prepare a weekly workforce schedule with two consecutive days off for each employee. So let's determine how we can do that. So this is the net requirement given to us for each of the days. Now the first step is to determine the two consecutive days which have the lowest net requirements. So 8 plus 8 16, 8 plus 7 15, 7 plus 7 14, 7 plus 6 13, 6 plus 5 is 11. 5 plus 4 is 9, 4 plus 8 is 12. So Saturday and Sunday have the lowest net requirements. So for employee number 1, we will give Saturday Sunday off. So employee 1 will have Saturday and Sunday off and will be working on the remaining days. So based on employee 1 working on all days except Saturday and Sunday, the net requirements now become 7, 7, 6, 6, 5, 5 and 4. So because employee 1 will not be available on Saturday and Sunday, the requirement remains the same. Now let's again find out the two consecutive days when the net requirements are the lowest. So 7 plus 7 14, 7 plus 6 13, 6 plus 6 12, 6 plus 5 11, 5 plus 5 10, 5 plus 4 9 and 4 plus 7 11. So still Saturday Sunday have the lowest net requirements. So for employee 2 we will let him take off on Saturday and Sunday and he can work on the remaining days sorry this is employee number two now based on this schedule for employee number two our net requirements will become for Monday 7 minus 1 6 Tuesday 7 minus 1 6 Wednesday 6 minus 1 5 Thursday 6 minus 1 5, Friday 5 minus 1 4 and for Saturday and Sunday as it is. Now again let's find out the two consecutive days with lowest net requirements. So 6 plus 6 12, 6 plus 5 11, 5 plus 5 10, 5 plus 4 9, 4 plus 5 9 and 5 plus 4 9. And then finally, 4 plus 6, 10. Now here we have three pairs of two consecutive days, Thursday and Friday, Friday and Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. Then all these three pairs have the same net requirement of 9. Now since in this example we have not been given any preference of days, we'll choose any of these days at random. So let's again choose Saturday and Sunday. 
So for employee number three, we'll give him off on Saturday and Sunday and he'll be working on the remaining days. So based on this, the net requirements now become six minus one five, six minus one five, five minus one four, five minus one four, 4 minus 1, 3, and 5 and 4. Now again, let's calculate the lowest net requirements. So 5 plus 5 is 10, 5 plus 4 is 9, 4 plus 4 is 8, 4 plus 3 is 7, 3 plus 5 is 8, 5 plus 4 is 9, and 4 plus 5 is 9. So the lowest net requirement is for Thursday and Friday, which is 7. So we'll give employee number four Thursday and Friday off. So employee number four will be taking Thursday and Friday off and will be working on the remaining days. So now the net requirements become four, four, three, four, three, four, three. Now again, let's find out the lowest net requirement. So 4 plus 4 is 8, 4 plus 3 is 7, 3 plus 4 is 7, 4 plus 3 is 7, 3 plus 4 is 7, 4 plus 3 is 7, and 3 plus 4 is again 7. So we have multiple pairs where we have the net requirement as 7. Let's choose any one arbitrarily. So since we have Saturday, Sunday, let's give Saturday, Sunday off to employee number 5. So he'll be taking Saturday and Sunday off and working on the remaining days. So the net requirements now become 3, 3, 2, 3, 2, 4 and 3. Now again let's find out the lowest net requirement. So 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 2 is 5, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 2 is 5, 2 plus 4 is 6. 4 plus 3 is 7 and 3 plus 3 is 6. So we have 3 pairs, 3 plus 2, 5, 2 plus 3, 5 and 3 plus 2, 5 which have requirement of 5. So let's choose any one arbitrarily. So here we'll choose Tuesday and Wednesday. So employee number 6 will be taking Tuesday and Wednesday off and will be working on the remaining days. So now the net requirements become 2, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2. Now let's again find out the lowest net requirement. So 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 2 is 5, 2 plus 2 is 4, 2 plus 1 is 3, 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 2 is 5 and 2 plus 2 is 4. So the lowest is for Thursday, Friday, which is 3. So employee number 7 will be taking off on Thursday and Friday and working on the remaining days. So the net requirements now become 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. Let's again find out the lowest net requirement. So 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, 1 plus 2, 3, 2 plus 1, 3, 1 plus 2, 3, 2 plus 1, 3, 1 plus 1, 2. So Sunday and Monday combination gives us the lowest net requirement. So for employee number 8, we'll give Monday and Sunday off and he'll be working on the remaining days. So now the net requirements become 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now again, let's find out the lowest net requirement. So 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 0, 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0, 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, and 1 plus 1 is 2. 
So there are four pairs of consecutive days having a nth requirement of one, which is Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday. So let's choose any one arbitrarily. Let's choose Tuesday, Wednesday. So employee number nine will be taking off on Tuesday and Wednesday and will be working on the remaining days. So now the net requirements become 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Now here again the net requirement was 0. However, employee number 9 is going to be available on this day. So net requirement is 0. However, he is a surplus on this day. Then 1 minus 1, 0 and 1 minus 1, 0. Now again let's find out the lowest net requirement so everything is zero except this one so since saturday and sunday are also amongst the lowest net requirements let's give employee number 10 off on saturday and sunday so employee number 10 will be taking off on saturday and sunday and will be working on the remaining days so the net requirements now become zero 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 0, 0, and 0. So in all, this company would require 10 operators to meet this demand. And let's now compare with how many operators will be available versus the actual requirement. So this was the actual requirement. Let's see how many total are going to be available. So on Monday, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. On Tuesday, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. On Wednesday, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. On Thursday, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. On Friday, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six seven eight on saturday one two three four and five and on sunday one two three and four so based on this we have a surplus on monday of one resource Wednesday of 1, Thursday of 1, Friday of 2. But these many resources will be needed in order to meet the demand on each and every day.